Welcome back to the third quarter here at Elmore Gymnasium, located at Huntsville, Alabama, Norman, Alabama, I mean, in the campus of Alabama a and where we see the Bull Lady Bulldogs have the lead 39 to 28 against these Lady Braves. Siggy, what did you see in that first half that put the Lady Bulldogs in this double-digit lead? Well, it was actually a couple outstanding Lady Bulldog players. Let's talk about Dotson for a minute. Um, number 44, she contributed 10 points already just in that first half. Um, looking at Collins, number two, and Jones, five. Collins went ahead and gave the Lady Bulldogs nine points, and then Jones was the right behind her with seven. As far as rebounds, Deshauna Harper is the one that stood out the most. She already had four for the Lady Bulldogs, and she also contributed six points. They're all just really contributing to this team, make sure they get that win. That's right, and Deshauna Harper, I mean the five foot five guard from Indianapolis, Indiana, who is a freshman, as is leading this team right now in rebounds. And right there, just now, it was a big time make by number 24, Tierra Dark, off of the rebound with the hustle points as well. And it's a 41-28 game. Dark had three rebounds, too, in that first half. Everybody's just trying to contribute to the team. Pretty much, I mean, if it's not points-wise, it's points-wise, it's rebounds-wise, it's steals-wise. I mean, all these ladies are doing a great job. And the ball will go right back to Alcorn State as number four, Jamika Cobb, subs into the game for Aubriana Bonner. Now, partner, We've seen that we haven't seen something like this before. I mean, the Lady Bulldogs have a 13 point lead in the third quarter. Now, I don't know whether it's because the color pink, I don't know because Siggy's here calling the game. <laughs> Either way, we need to make sure we keep doing this so that way we can see things like this from our Lady Bulldogs. Oh, you're right about that. We know what AM can do, but they just have to put the pieces together and make it happen. And right now, you can see it in this game against Alcorn, against a really good SWAC rival, that they can make great things happen with this team. This is usually the time when the Lady Bulldogs kind of die off, but you know, they're hanging in there. It's already the third quarter. It's going to make it one more quarter. And once again, tonight is Think Pink Night. Breast cancer awareness, raising it. Cancer is no joke. It's a very serious matter. It affects us all in many different ways. And AM is showing their support for breast cancer awareness here tonight with their pink jerseys and white lettering on the chest. I see everybody out in this week, the coaches, the family members, fans, cheerleaders, everybody supporting this cause. And we're all wearing pink up here as well, showing our support. That's right. And I did not I do not want to interrupt this great theme night, but sweet goodness, Jamika Cobb just kissing it off the glass in for the shot. 43 to 30 with the Bulldogs having the lead. I mean, just a great shot, almost out of bounds. She just throws it up, hits the backboard, it kisses off right into the rim. Just a beautiful shot. Well, Jamika Cobb is a very, very valuable asset to this AM team. She comes off the bench and she provides really valuable minutes, both on and off the floor, always supporting her teammates, whether she's on the court or not. And right now, she's able to provide this team with some really valuable inside scoring on that last possession. That's right, the sophomore five foot eight guard coming from Greenville, Florida. Moving the ball around this Cobb as we speak. Florida. Florida. The country, man, the country in my tone is remarkable. Now, I've been to South Florida. South Florida is really nice. It is really nice. As an Alexandra Johnson makes the easy layup in the paint. South Florida is a really nice Really nice place to be for spring break. Oh, it really is. It really is. You know, I like to do something. I like to go to California sometimes spring break. Oh, I feel you. I feel you. Just something different. You see everybody in Florida. Yeah. As a big time steal leads to the fast break layup for Nigeria Jones, number five. What a beautiful finger off from Nigeria Jones. This freshman has really been contributing to the team this whole entire night. Nigeria Jones, five foot six from Lincoln, Nebraska. I wonder what made her decide to come to normal Alabama. Parker is 29. Hey, long as it says, long as it says uh, scholarship, long as you got the scholarship paid for and tuition. And learning to communicate hey, I'll again. Wherever, I'll come the students too. teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. 
At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Forty-seven thirty. the Lady Bulldogs have a tremendous big lead against these Lady Braves. So, Siggy, what can you say from the game so far? That the, there anything can happen, really. Um, the Bulldogs usually show that, you know, they can't hold that score until the end, but it's still third quarter, you know, almost halfway through, and that score is pretty, pretty, looking pretty good for them. Do you believe they can hold on to this lead? I'm praying they can. I would say, like I said, have faith in my Bulldogs. That's right. And speaking of my Bulldogs, <clears throat> we like to let you know that this show is being sponsored and broadcasted by WJAB. And thank you for helping me, Siggy, and Reginald Rees, who are telecommunications majors. Siggy's a senior. I'm a junior. Supposed to be senior, but that's another story. And Reggie is a sophomore. We want to thank this time for Alabama a and giving us the opportunity to practice our skills and abilities for when we go out there in the real world. Alabama a and where service is sovereignty. And at the free throw line is number 25, Miracle Rushing, five foot nine, senior out of Meridian, Mississippi. And the ball go out of bounds, but it will remain Alcorn basketball and the people in the crowd, the fans do not like that call at all. Inbounding is number 20, Tia Sanders. Freeman back top of the key, two rushing, three ball by number 32, Jada Hargrove, and she knocks it down. And it's a 47-33 game with 6-10 to play in the third quarter. I mean, that was the beautiful three, nothing but net. But we've seen this before, especially in the first half. You shoot a three, I can do better. McKee with the three herself, no good. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be out on Deshaun Harper. And it will be out of bounds on A&M. That looks like a tough fall Harper had, but she got back up. She's, jog she's sprinting back to the court. Bring the ball is Jada Hargrove. Moving the ball around, setting up the play at the top of the key, moving to the right wing, but gives it back up to Freeman. Alexis Freeman down low to Miracle Rushing, but she Well, it looks like it was a foul on the Lady Braves. Offensive foul, which doesn't count for the points. McKee passes it down low to Johnson, but it's blocked by Rushing. And number 32, uh, Jada Hargrove, Handled onto the ball, she falls down, and it's a lot of boos in the crowd. The foul was on number 10, Lauren McKee. Nobody in Elmore Gymnasium likes that call. Fans are really expressing themselves tonight. And McKee will be sat back onto the bench. Margaret Richards doesn't want to risk anything more than what's already happened in this game so far. Moving the ball around, Alexis Freeman, the point guard for the squad for the Lady Braves. Driving Sanders, but stops, gives it back up. Moving the ball around, driving for the easy layup is Hargrove, as she'll make it a 47-35 game. And like you said, Jalen, A&M sort of falling through the cracks right now. Can they hold on to it? Goodness, I mean, 
of course. And look at the double team that they were trying to do on Deshauna Harper. Cannot, she is just so quick. I mean, before this game is over, I think somebody need to call DC and tell them we got a Lady Flash version over here. <laughs> well, like you said, Deshauna Harper, and she is really valuable to this team. She's very quick, very versatile. Really plays the wing really well for this A&M squad. She usually plays sh uh, shooting guard and small four for A&M coming off the bench. And she's been really valuable here tonight for Margaret Richards' team. It's so funny, she's leading this, she's leading the game right now within five rebounds. And she's only five foot five. And she's also helps produce six points within this game. So I mean, Deshauna Harper, she has great agile, great, great skills. Speed is nothing to her. She's even listed as the top three. Ariel took down enough pins to help win a conference championship. Her mechanics are just as strong in engineering. Aiden is mastering psychology on the golf course and in the classroom. No hurdles too high for Raven. On the track or in nutrition. Alabama A&M. Four years of artistic, academic, and athletic discovery. We deliver the full university experience. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. The third quarter, 4 minutes, 32 seconds left with the Bulldogs leading the game 47-35. And inbounding is Tia Sanders for the Lady Braves. You know, right before the break, we was talking about just how agile Deshauna Harper is. I mean, her speed and the rebound she has contributed for her team. And Deshauna Harper's been a very valuable factor here tonight, like you said, as she has been throughout the whole season. But it's another bad call against the Lady Bulldogs. Elmore Gymnasium might break out into a riot. I don't know. The fans are really getting impatient with these referees. Well, until I see pitchforks, I'm not convinced at all. But they are very rowdy and are very disagreeing with the referee's rules. And it's a pull-up three-pointer for number 32, Jada Hargrove. And it's a 47-38 game. The Lady Braves have brought the score to within nine points. Moving the ball around, Jones. They're working hard, trying to make sure they can score. So, Siggy, do you still believe in the Lady Bulldogs now? Oh, wait. <laughs> still going still gonna to have faith in this team, no matter what. But definitely, you know, hoping that they can get it together by this fourth quarter. And it's another foul going oh, against oh, Alabama oh, A&M. Oh, and Tierra Dark is called for the foul. Six. And number 25, Miracle oh, oh, oh. Rushing, will go to the free throw line. And it's a timeout by Margaret Richards and the A&M Lady Bulldogs. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Within the 
third quarter. And Al Alcorn State with the free throws. Alcorn State's climbed their way back into this game. At one point down by as much as 17, and they managed to make it a 47-38 game, bringing the score to a nine-point deficit. So hopefully Alcorn State should be able to maintain that momentum, but can the Lady Bulldogs find a way to shut down everything that Alcorn State has built up and maintain this lead? Okay, so you know, Alcorn State, they're just playing they're playing desperately, so anything that's that'll go in, they'll do it. I mean, they, I mean, the threes we have seen from this team, and everything like that. But the Bulldogs are still playing a good, slow-paced offense and a great aggressive defense against Alcorn State. As the force mid range by Tierra Dark doesn't go in, a jump ball called by the referees, and it will go to Alcorn State. Alcorn's trying to play a little rough this half of the game. Moving the ball around, Tia Sanders, leading scorer for the Alcorn State Lady Braves. Moving the ball back around, Hargrove. Rushing, driving on Dotson, but misses the layup as Collins with the rebound. Up the floor to Tierra Dark. Driving, but she slows herself up. Collins for the three, knocks it down. And Natalie Collins with her third three of the night to make it a 50 to 39 game with 223 to play in the third quarter. Well, somebody need to call her the waitress because she is serving the Lady Braves with all these threes right now for them. She has definitely been a major impact on their score this, this entire game. Alexa Screamer is about to come back with a three of her own, but she's fouled at the three-point line on Tierra Dark. And Alexis Freeman will shoot free throws. Well, it's just like we've been seeing this whole game with the Lady Bulldogs leading this game. I mean, the Lady Braves are pretty much saying that we can do anything that you guys can do. And the Lady Bulldogs are saying, no, you cannot, but let's just see anyways. Go so far, let's just three minutes later. First two free throws. We'll see if she can. We'll see if she can make the third. Some substitutions have been made on the floor for AM and Alcorn State. Get some fresh players into the game for both teams. As Alexis Freeman goes two for three from the free throw line, a 50 to 41 game in the making right now. You know, those free throws are always very. It's, it's simple but yet difficult at the same time. Just trying to make two of them is pretty difficult, but all three, that takes a very skilled player to get all those shots. And some pretty rough basketball going on just now. However, play has been stopped. At first, it was a turnover for Alcorn to get the ball right back. But in that fast break chance, Nigeria Jones commits the foul. That will send number 14, Brianna Tolliver, to the free throw line. So, Jalen, Siggy, do you think a and can still hold on to this lead that's slowly but surely going down as time progresses? Of course, and you know why? Because I believe in my Lady Bulldogs with extremely confidence <laughs> that they are going to pull this out tonight. Hey, Miss Jalen, you know, I really support these girls. These ladies have been working hard, hard all season, and, you know, I feel like they pulled through. Still got some time on that clock. That's Ashlyn Dotson makes the easy way up in transition. And it's a 52-43 game. Bringing the ball up the floor is Alexis Freeman. Not really having the best of games, shooting only 2 for 10 from the field. Well, we see Freeman. I mean, she can break your ankles with her handles, but when it's time to make the shot, it does not go in. And right there, there was another turnover committed by the Alcorn State Lady Braves. 
Dotson down low again from the beautiful bounce pass from Abriana Bonner. One to 44, Bonner to Dotson, and AM makes it a 11 point game, 54 to 43. Driving this Freeman over to number 22, Wari, standing at 5 of 10, the junior from Arlington, Texas, but it does not go in, but she will get the foul. I mean, nice assist from Bonner. I mean, she, she was driving in slow, but it was at a great pace where she can throw the ball right into Dodson for the layup. First free throw attempt. Takes a very shaky bounce, but manages to roll in for the Alcorn State Lady Braves, and it's now a 54-44 game. You know what I just realized? You asked me and Siggy, do we think that our Bulldogs, can they pull it out? What do you think, Reggie? <laughs> Look, I mean, we've seen this quite a bit, but sort of in reverse where A&M is trying to fight their way back into the game. But with A&M in the lead, I feel like they can handle the pressure and keep this momentum up until the end of the game. But they have to slow down now for state as but much as possible. Well, you just saw what Nigeria Jones did. I mean, that's what we've been seeing all day. I mean, the Braves cannot keep a hand on the ball. I mean, they turn over the ball average 26 times a game. And that's really played to their downfall. So we'll see if things change here going into the fourth quarter in the last few seconds of the third. Well, the Lady Bulldogs have been dominating all three quarters. And I don't, and I don't doubt for anything that they will not dominate the fourth quarter as well. Lady Bulldogs are starting to toughen up now. Seeing, I think they feel the same way, you know, that they got to keep that lead. Ball was poked out by Alcorn State as Nigeria Jones tried to drive. The Lady Bulldogs will maintain possession. Oh yeah, Jada Hargrove, she did a good job of getting the ball out of Jones' hand, but still. And it's a foul going against Alcorn State as Nigeria Jones will inbound the ball one more time. 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Here we go, moving around. Alcorn's playing really good defense, but she gets it out to Cobb, who's right now dribbling right at half court, but gives it right back up to Jones. They're going to hold it for the last shot, it looks like. And what they rightfully should do, whether it goes in or not, just hold the ball in. Nigeria Jones trying to get that ball in the hoop. And Jones will miss it. Dotson tried to get the rebound, but it was still touched by Alcorn State in the process, so A&M We'll have one more chance for one final shot. So Two like seconds to go. Looks like it's going to be a run and shoot game. They keep Natalie Collins covered, but it is a foul with .5 seconds left in the game. Collins really tried to get off that jump shot just now, but maybe if she wanted to draw the foul after all, but either way, she will go to the free throw line regardless for a couple of free throws. I mean, she is the three queen of her team. And she also shoot a good free throw as well. Already responsible for 11 of her team points. So Natalie Collins really playing her role very well for this Lady Bulldog team. And we will get ready for the fourth quarter. The Lady Bulldogs are up 56 to 44. We will see you after this break. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. 
Start here. Go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. The fourth quarter has arrived. Alabama A&M up 56 to 44 on the Alcorn State Lady Braves. Tia, San Tia Sanders bringing the ball up the floor, back over top of the key, moving the ball around. So just from this so far in the game, Dotson and Collins already tied for 14 points each, contributing to the Lady Bulldogs. So here we go, Alabama A&M only up by 10 right now. They had a 17 point lead in the third quarter, but the Lady Braves have managed to bring it in close. No fouls called as Jamika Top tried to go to the lane. Now you know earlier how we were talking about Nigeria Jones and the swiper no swiping. Well, she's been swiping four times right now over these Lady Braves. She is leading this team right now, the leading the game within four steals. Oh yeah, you're right about that. And AM right now, because of her tough defense, is attributing to this 12 point lead so far as Ashley Dyson just made a hand one. But like you said, um, Swipe of the Fox right now, Nigeria Jones playing a big role in this AM defense. Whoa, what a great rebound by Aubriana Bonner. As Collins misses the three from the top of the key, but another rebound this time by Jamika Cobb for the Lady Bulldogs. The hustle points are paying off. Exactly, the hustle points. Hustle, hustle. You shoot it, just just think it's not going to go in. Just stay under that basket to get the points. And it's out of bounds on Alcorn State. Denisha Benee was the last person to touch the ball. Denisha huh? Finney, sorry about that. Denisha Finney was the last person to touch the ball just now. Hoping that these Bulldogs just pull through this last quarter. A couple more minutes left to run the clock. So stepping into the game for Alcorn State is Joanna Lafayette, number 11. Inbounding for the Lady Bulldogs is Nigeria Jones. As Abriana Bonner misses the layup, but she still gets her own rebound. And once again, the hustle points for the Lady Bulldogs are coming into effect. Now that's also a skill. I mean, she saw her feet, so it would not cross that line of the out of bounds. So that is great skill of keeping her balance. Almost turned over by a and And however, it looks like Alcorn State will still will get possession. So these are the last eight minutes within the game. I mean, I expect to see a lot of aggressiveness between both teams. I mean, Alcorn State is trying to come back, trying to better their record, but then it's once again, A&M is trying to finally win again within their own house. And A&M managed to keep possession on that last whistle by the referee. She the cop tried to drive in. She will get, she will go to the free throw line for a couple of free throws. They've definitely both been very aggressive this, this entire game, but it's like they've upped it a notch this last quarter. So Jalen and Siggy, who should AM go to the most in the last few moments of the game? Uh, well, let me see here. A lot I of mean, people have been contributing to the team. She's just a tough one. Exactly. I mean, Dawson is contributing. Collins, Jones. Pretty much, we can put anybody on this team right now, and they'll contribute. Doc's so, really been helping with those rebounds. And you know, I wouldn't even worry. I wouldn't worry about this from an offensive standpoint. I'm more focused on the lockdown defense they have displayed against the Lady Braves tonight. And some more tough defense was played right there by Abrana Bonner as she made Alexis Freeman uncomfortable with that pull-up mid-range. Like we say, Alexis Freeman, she's got the handles. But in her case, she needs to find a, she needs to find somebody open to get the shot up because every time she shoots it, she is not making it. 60 to 46, Alabama A&M up by 14 points. Seven minutes, 30 seconds to play in the game. 
Driving is Jones, but it will be a foul, and she will get two shots at the free throw line. Miracle rushing was called for the foul. Nigeria Jones will be sent to the free throw line for a couple of free throws. You know what's so funny about this, guys? It's the start of the fourth quarter, and I see Alcorn has five fouls, and the Bulldogs have none. Now, can we? Playing with a little bit of aggression. Exactly. I mean, can we say a controlled defense from the Lady Bulldogs and an out-of-world defense just chaotic from the Lady Braves? Yeah, I agree with you right there. Alcorn State right now, they're sort of playing all over the place. They can't really find themselves in this game. And A&M, the A&M's defense is a big reason for that. That's right. It looks like the Lady Bulldogs, I mean, seven minutes left. It looks like they can finally pull this off within their home. Here we go. And you didn't believe in them, Reggie. No, and I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying I didn't believe in them. I'm just saying in the last few games that we've seen here at Elmore, they've struggled going into the fourth and couldn't pull through. This is true, but just like we've called these games, they have had a double-digit lead going into the fourth quarter. They never had a double-digit lead. Maybe two or three points, but a double-digit lead is pretty remarkable right now for these Lady Bulldogs. They're ready for some change. Well, it's still just under seven minutes to play in this game, so it's not exactly over yet. Well, we know what saying. It's not over until it's over. Yes. Going to the free throw line is Abriana Bonner, number one. Abriana Bonner hails out of Augusta, Georgia, the freshman standing at five foot eight. Makes her first free throw. Now coming into the game for the Lady Bulldogs is number 21, Alexandra Johnson. And subbing out for Alcorn State is, out, is uh, Alexis Freeman. And taking her place is number 24, DeAsia Brown. That's a free throw action tonight. And the second free throw is off. And it's a foul going against number four, Jamika Cobb, over the back foul. And Alcorn State will maintain possession after the rebound. And while we uh, while we are looking at this game, let's look into the future right quick. I mean, the Lady Bulldogs will play against the Lady Jaguars this coming up Monday at Elmore. And then next Saturday, they are going to take a visit to Texas to play against Texas Southern. So we should see how those two matchups come for the Lady Bulldogs. As the three from the corner is no good by Tia Sanders. The Alcorn playing stands you defense. A&M has to get the ball up the floor, and they do. I mean, that's what we've been seeing. I mean, just when the Lady Braves think they have a steal, think they have a turnover, here comes another Bulldog out of nowhere, collecting the ball, controlling the momentum. They definitely make sure they take care of each other. Exactly. each other back tonight. Exactly. I mean, they, that's what they're doing, like Siggy says, and they're not making mistakes. They are playing it as perfect as you can within this basketball environment. But to piggyback off of what you said with A&M and their remaining schedule, let's keep in mind they play the top five teams in the SWAC to close out the season, starting with Southern on Monday, like you said, and then Texas Southern on the road, followed by Prairie View, Grambling, and Jackson State. They're definitely going to go into these games with some confidence, especially if they win tonight. Of course, I mean, especially Alcorn State is six. There are two games ahead of A&M, and now being this team will put them a little higher up in the SWAC ranks. And it's a foul. It's another foul on Alcorn State. As Abriana Bonner once again back at the free throw line. You know, this is ridiculous. I mean, every time somebody's at the free throw line, the Bulldogs haven't even crossed the half court line, and they're already fouled. I guess Alcorn State's probably playing, like you said, really desperate right now. Yep, a lot of frustration on that side. It's very chaotic with the Lady Braves defense. I mean, you can just see it on, their pl on the player's face right now. Yeah. And the mood from the players goes all the way down to the bench. No one on that Alcorn State bench is looking really interested right now, knowing that this will more than likely be um, a win the for the Lady Bulldogs. Exactly. <laughs> And it is going to be a win, Reggie. You just need to go ahead and just say it's going to be a win. Listen, right. listen, I, I know there's six minutes left in the game, but let's be realistic here. Until it says triple zero. <laughs> Until it says triple zero. Okay, well, I'll meet you back when it says triple zero. Look, I believe in the Lady Bulldogs, but it, 
until it says triple zero, that's when the game is over. So a and will inbound the ball. And while we wait for the ball, our next game within this doubleheader is going to be the Alcorn State men, 9-17, going against the Alabama A&M Bulldogs. That should be a really fun game. Both teams, like you said, coming in here looking for a lot of momentum. Alabama A&M, last time out they lost to the ASU Hornets in that doubleheader. So we'll, we'll see if A&M can make a comeback here tonight at Elmore Gymnasium as the women have made their statement and their redemption tonight so far. The concentration between these ladies, they just won't give up. Of course, I mean, Alex Alexandra Johnson, I mean, trying to get the rebound, trying to put it back, but cannot. But, I mean, that just shows the hustle and abilities right there. Everybody's paying attention to on the Lady Bulldog side. I think that's what's contributing to their well soon to be win. We're gonna go ahead and call it. And, you know, with the Lady Bulldogs, with this win, I mean, this should boost up the morale for the men to go here and beat the Braves tonight after this game. I mean, I mean, the crowd is very energetic. Into the is the the crowd is very energetic within the gymnasium. So hopefully this can boost some morale for the men. I'm right there with you. Both teams, last time here at Elmore Gymnasium, they lost to their in-state rival, the Alabama State Hornets. So that really took a hit on both coaches, on both teams, on everybody really for this entire campus. So to come back and to have the Lady Bulldogs come in here and right the wrong that was made from last Saturday. Hopefully that'll rub off onto the men and continue that momentum for us here at Norman, Alabama. All the way from Pinson, Alabama, that was Johnson, Alexandra Johnson, helping out contribute to the team with that free throw. Right. And speaking of contributing, I mean, let's talk about the coach right quick for these Bulldogs, Margaret Richards. Her second season, folks, this is about to be her double-digit win within the Lady Bulldogs. Already with the massive turnaround from last season as number 32, Jada Hargrove with the three from the corner. But like you said, massive turnaround. Alabama A&M, these Lady Bulldogs believe in their head coach, and we are getting much, much closer to the SWAT tournament. The Lady Bulldogs are going to up their positioning in the SWAT standings and get a higher seed. This could really give them a big-time morale boost going into the SWAT tournament and you know, just we, a month away. That's right. I mean, we talked about this is only her second season, but I can't remember the last time the Lady Bulldogs even had double-digit wins before Margaret Richards, and now she is doing it in her second season after a lackluster season from the previous year. And Nigeria Jones with the end one finish at the free throw line looking for one more. This crowd is on their feet. They're ecstatic. They are going crazy. Nigeria Jones with the heart of a lion right now, playing her heart out as she got the big time fast break and one finish. Everybody giving reactions now, the fans. Everybody has something to say. It looks like a timeout, so we'll be right back until we see what has happened. 